welcome. In this Blender tutorial we will create this abstract animation. Other Blender tutorials can be found in our playlists. I will demonstrate the settings used to create the animation. You should always experiment with other variations. Start by selecting the cube and lamp, then push the delete key to remove them. Add an icosphere by clicking on the add menu. Mesh, icosphere. Click on the modifiers icon. Then select wireframe from the drop down menu. The thickness of the animation was 0.07. For the purpose of this tutorial I will use 0.09. From the modifiers drop down list, add a displacement modifier. A musgrave texture will be used to control the displacement of the icosphere. Click on the texture icon on the side panel. Then click on the new button. Select musgrave from the type drop down list. Move the displacement modifier to first, in the modifier stack. Make sure the Musgrave texture is selected in the displacement modifier. We will use an MP to animate the movement of the displacement. Click on the Add menu. Empty Plane Axis To make it easier to see, scale it up by pushing the S key. Then drag with the mouse. Apply the scale by clicking on the object menu, Apply Scale Click on the icosphere to select it. Within the displacement modifier, Change the coordinate from local to object. Select the empty from the object field. When the empty is rotated, the displacement of the icosphere is animated. Click on the icosphere to select it. Add a mirror modifier. The mirror modifier should be the last modifier in the modifier stack. Select all axis and all bisect axis. We will now animate the rotation of the empty. Drag the timeline up to make it more visible. Click on the empty to select it. Press the I key to insert a keyframe, and select Rotation. The animation will be 200 frames long. So we don't have a double frame in the loop. The next keyframe is entered at frame 201. With the MT selected, press the R key. Then Z360. Enter. Press the I key to insert a keyframe and select rotation. When we run the animation, the displacement of the icosphere is moving with the rotation of the empty. Move the timeline back to the start. We will now add the materials to the icosphere. Click on the shading workspace. Then click on the render preview button. 
click on the icosphere to select it. Then click on the new material button. Click on the principled shade R, then press the delete button to remove it. Click on the add menu and add an emission shade R. Connect it to the surface of the material output. Increase the strength to 5. Add a color ramp and connect the color to the emission shade R. Change the colors in the color ramp to colors of your choice. Click on the plus button to add more color stops. Change the color interpolation to ease. Add a gradient texture and connect the factor to the color ramp. Select radial from the drop down list. Add a mapping node and connect the vector to the gradient texture. Add a texture coordinate. Then connect the object socket to the vector of the mapping node. Move the mouse to the bottom left of the 3D viewport and right mouse click. Select horizontal split and move the mouse up to the size of the window. Then left mouse click. Change the editor type to a timeline. We will use the mapping node to animate the rotation of the material on the icosphere. Make sure the rotation of the axis is set to zero in the mapping node and the timeline is at the start. Right mouse click on the Z-axis field of the mapping node. Click insert keyframe. Move to keyframe 201. Enter 360 into the Z-rotation of the mapping node. Right mouse click and select insert keyframe. The material will now move around the object. We will now animate rotation of the icosphere. Click on the layout workspace. Make sure the icosphere is selected and the timeline is at the start. Press the I key to insert a keyframe and select rotation. 
we will rotate the icosphere 360 degrees on the Z and X axis. The Y axis can also be used. The rotation speed can be increased by using multiples of 360 degrees. Move to keyframe 201. Press the R key, then Z360, enter, then press the R key again, then X360, enter, press the I key to insert a keyframe and select rotation. We will set up the scene for rendering. Press the render preview button. Click on the camera. Press Alt R then Alt G to reset its rotation and location. Rotate the camera by pressing the R key. Then X, then 90. Enter. Move the camera on the Y axis by pressing G for grab, then Y. Drag the camera back with the mouse. Press number pad 0 to look through the camera. Click on the world properties icon. Then change the color to black. Click on the Render Properties icon. Make sure the EV Render Engine is selected. Enable Bloom. The amount of bloom can be adjusted to your liking by increasing or decreasing the intensity. Click on the Output Properties icon. I will use the default resolution and frames per second. Click on the output location and select an appropriate location. Change the file format to FF MPEG. I will use the MPEG4 encoder. and a perceptually lossless quality. To render the animation, click on the Render menu. Then Render Animation. I will pause the video while it renders. If you found this tutorial useful, Click the like button and subscribe to this channel for further tutorials.